Hey everybody, I am out by my front mailbox next to my rose garden here and today is the big day where I've decided I'm going to go ahead and cut back my summer romance rose and my Cinderella fairy tale. Both have reached over 10 feet tall and they're just getting a little too difficult to manage, especially by the driveway, um, trying to keep branches out of the driveway. Um, so we got to cut her back or cut both of them back and I'm probably gonna go back to four feet tall. So cross your fingers, hope that they do well with it um, and we get lots of blooms this spring. So I wanted to go ahead and take this video and show you the process. Okay, here is the base of my summer romance rose. As you can see, there are uh, lots of canes. They all look very healthy. Uh, but it does need a little bit of cleaning up at the base and we could probably take out some of those smaller center canes just to um, allow some air to circulate within the rose bush and just give it a little bit more air and a little bit more room to breathe. So um, I'm probably going to end up taking out this cane right here um, and then probably this cane right in here. And then there is um, just a little bit of dead wood here and there. And then as we come up, you can see there's a lot going on up here. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna do my best to try and cut it back to about four, about four feet or so. Um, and then once you do like the main cuts, then you can go in and really kind of clean up all the little smaller canes um, and go from there. So I am going to get my phone set up on a tripod and you can just watch the process um, while I'm working.
Whoops. So it's a little lower than four feet, more like three feet, I think. But see how it's much more opened up there in the center? That's what I have to do for Cinderella fairy tale next. I gotta work on opening up her center quite a bit. There's a lot of canes that cross each other and um, we wanna make sure that we try to prevent that as much as possible. Uh, just for the health of the rose. It really helps keep it healthy. Not that really need to worry about that with this rose because summer romance and Cinderella fairy tale, they are really great roses that are disease resistant. So I'm going to keep at it. Now that I'm cutting back all these roses, I think what I might do is move this arbor up a little bit further away from Summer Romance to give it a little bit more room and then um, I'll plant a climbing rose through the arbor. So I think that'll be a good idea. Um, that way there's a little bit more room for Summer Romance since it likes to take over a bit. fairy tale has a lot of thorns. Okay. All right, now I can kind of get in here and see what needs to be done. This, this cane here needs to be cleaned up. Um, I think this one, I might go ahead and remove the whole thing. I might cut back this little stubby section and leave the new green canes. I'm trying to keep the newer canes and getting rid of, rid of the older canes. And the new canes are always nice and bright green. Older canes are usually gray. Or in Summer Romance's case, the canes are red, the new growth. I'm going to sharpen these loppers. They're not cutting the best. Um, here. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this whole cane off here. All clear. Now we just gotta move this 
up front just a little bit. Huge mess to clean up, but that looks better, doesn't it? That's what I keep telling myself, it looks better. It does look more nice and clean, not so chaotic. I just hope that it flowers just as beautifully though. In, honest, in all honesty, it's probably good that it, I cut it back because I'm putting several new roses in here. And that way they kind of all um, look like they're the same height and they're not, uh, uh, you know, the bed's not off balance because it was way off balance before and it really annoyed me. So I think in the long run, it'll turn out better. cut into a bunch of clematis roots. That's what all this is. There's a clematis right here. Now it's just time to clean up. Kind of put things back together. Okay, so I cleaned up all around the base of each rose. It looks so much better. So much cleaner than before. Look at how massive those roots are, guys. Look at my okay, look at my hand. It's just this is so big. And that's Cinderella fairy tale. This one's summer romance, and there's my Earth Angel, which just hopefully it'll do a little bit better this year since I cut everything back. So yeah, that's how it's looking. Looks a whole lot better, a lot cleaner. You can see how it has that open vase shape in the center, which is what we want. Um, this one has a little bit more crowded in the center, but that's just the way the rose is growing, so I'm gonna let it be. Nothing's crossing, no canes are crossing. Everything's nice and straight and open, and that's how we want it. That's how we wanna prune our roses. So they stay looking beautiful and nice and healthy. Let's just hope this one <laughs> leafs out nice and beautifully for me this year. I, uh, I definitely let it get way out of control, but it was kind of a beautiful chaos, I must say. Um, but once it stops blooming so much, you know, then you kind of got to get a little severe with it. So hopefully we'll have lots of pretty blooms and everything else is kind of on the same height um, as the rest of the garden. And once the roses arrive later this month, I'll be planting um, those in certain spots. So it's going to fill in really nicely this year, I think. We're not going to have, last year I feel like it was a little overgrown and weedy and um, that rudbeckia had taken over. 
in here, which we dug out. And um, I definitely have to get rid of that. I have have now realized I am allergic to Rudbeckia. Anybody else? If those little teeny tiny hairs on the stems get on my skin, I have like a poison ivy-like reaction, which I am now dealing with because I cut back all of this last week. And so I have this really nasty rash on my arm. It's, it's terrible, absolutely horrible. <laughs> so I am letting some people dig this stuff up um, along with those trees in the back. We're gonna get rid of all these plants they are going bye-bye because I don't need I don't need those kind of rashes in my life so uh, but I hope this was a helpful video to you now I've got to get my bags open and start cutting all these little pieces into smaller pieces to put in the bags and um, I will definitely work on clearing out this bed a little bit more since there's so much grass and stuff in here I'll probably do that once the roses arrive oh and I did take out that gardenia back there so we can have mostly roses in here except for this gardenia bush right here so still a little bit more cleanup to do but i uh, was excited to show you the process of cutting back summer romance and um i'm sure some people will be like oh you need to seal those canes which i don't have anything to seal them with i mean i guess i could get, melt some wax or something like that um but yeah, I probably should seal those, seal those with something. So anyway, that's that guys. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey y'all, one thing I forgot to mention when I was pruning my roses is where to cut. Um, so I have this little rose cutting here. I actually saved this. I'm gonna try and propagate this. And so I wanted to show you when you're making cuts where you where a good place to make a cut is is right see how i have it right above a node i don't know if you can see that very well try and focus i don't know if it's going to focus well but you kind of get my gist um, you want to make it right above one of those growth points where a flower and leaves comes out um that's the best place to do it even on the large canes if you can manage to do it just like a quarter of an inch above a bud. That is a great way to prune your roses. And I think that's it. If you have any questions that I didn't cover, please ask away in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out. But I hope you guys have a great weekend. It's Friday, happy Friday the 13th. So I hope y'all have a great weekend, <laughs> bye.